It's a fiscal fiasco that has a lot of people scratching their heads. You've paid for a six and a half million dollar state building that is sitting vacant. It looks like it's ready for state workers to move in, except there's one major snag. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is in the newsplex with the story. Diane, it is a major snag. Over the years, lawmakers approved enough money to construct the building, but not enough to provide one last major necessity. 33,000 square feet of prime Santa Fe real estate, a beautiful view of the mountains, two decades of planning, funding, and building, one major problem. Yep, no water in a $6.5 million building the state coughed up the cash for starting in 2005. But this last session, lawmakers failed to pass funding for the very final phase, $200,000 to deliver water to the building. It was an incredible disappointment because we were so close to just finishing it. For more than a decade, the state's archaeological and museum departments have been searching for a permanent home for its offices and everything from artifacts from Spanish settlers to sacred tribal materials. Back in 2004, many of those artifacts were damaged when a pipe broke in one of the department's temporary buildings. So the 40-person department, along with records and artifacts, moved to the basement of the Bataan building. This is just the poster child for the bigger picture, which is the the catastrophe of the failure of that funding for the state of New Mexico as a whole. Very rarely does the state give the entire amount for projects, so buildings like this have to be done in phases. Now 12,000 years of human history sits and waits for a permanent home with water. It's almost... Now that $200,000 the department... That $200,000 the department did not get was part of the huge $240 million capital outlay funding that lawmakers voted down. We spoke with people from a few state agencies and the governor's office who say they're working on finding the last $200,000 so the building can open. Back to you. All right, thank you, Nancy. Now, if and when the building does open, the museum would be open to people by appointment or for research and class trips.